Well, welcome. Family and friends and loved ones, we've gathered here today to celebrate the wedding of Isabel and Tony. You have come here to share this formal commitment they make to one another, to offer them your love and support, and to allow Isabel and Tony to start their married life together, surrounded by some of the people who are the dearest and most important to them. And so welcome to all of y'all, whether you've traveled far or come from uh, distances that are not so great, Isabel and Tony, thank you for your presence here today and now ask for your blessings, your encouragement, and your lifelong support for the decision, their decision, to be married. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of all human relationships. No ceremony can create your marriage. Only you can do that. Through love and patience, through dedication and perseverance, through talking and listening, helping and supporting and believing each other, through tenderness and laughter, through learning to forgive, learning to appreciate your differences, and by learning to make the important things matter and letting the rest just go. What the ceremony can do is to witness and affirm the choice that you have made to stand together as life mates and partners. Will you, Tony, take this woman to be your wedded wife? I do. Good answer. And will you, Isabel, take this man to be your wedded husband? I do. Outstanding. Now, I'm going to share with you a couple of words written by a guy named Robert Folsham. And it's from a piece he wrote called Union. I want you to listen to this. Maybe it reflects y'all's relationship. You have known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed, you have been making commitments in a lot of informal ways. All those conversations that were held in a car or over a meal, or during long walks. All those conversations that began with, when we're married, and continued with, I will, and you will, and we will. All those late night talks that included someday, and, and somehow, and maybe. And all those promises that are the unspoken matters of the heart. All these common things and more are the processes of a wedding. The symbolic vows you're about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things we promised and hoped and dreamed. Well, I meant them all. Every single word. Look at one another. And remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you've been many things to one another. You've been acquaintances, friends, companions, dancing partners even teachers, for you've learned uh, a lot from one another during the time y'all have been together. Shortly, you're going to say words that will take you across the threshold of life, and things between you will never be quite the same. For after today, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. Now, two people in love don't live in isolation. Their love is a, source, is a source of strength and support with which they can nourish not only each other, but also the world around them. And in turn, we, their community of friends and family, have a responsibility to this couple. By our steadfast care, respect, and love, we can support their marriage and the new family they're creating today. Will you, who are present, surround Tony and Isabel in love, offering them the joys of your friendship and supporting them in their marriage? If so, say with some enthusiasm, we will. We will. We will. <laughs> That's good. 
we've come to the point in the ceremony where you're about to say your vows to one another. But before you do that, I ask you to remember that love, which is rooted in faith, trust, and acceptance, will be the foundation of an abiding and deepening relationship. No other ties more tender, no other vows more sacred than the, the ones you're about to assume. If you're able to keep the vows you make today, not because of any religious or civic law, but out of a desire to love and be loved by another person fully, without limitation, then your life will have joy and the home you establish will be a place in which you both will find the direction of your growth and your freedom and your responsibility. I'd like you to take, join your hands together. Both of them. You, whatever's comfortable. <laughs> and right now, I want you to look as deeply as you can into one another's eyes. And I want you, like I said in that little reading, I want you to remember this moment in time. Because you're about to make vows to one another. And after you make those vows, everything changes. No longer will you look at the future in terms of me and mine, you and yours. It will always be us and ours. And so Tony, looking as deeply as you can into her teary eyes, <laughs> repeat after me. I, Tony, take you, Isabel. I take, oh my God. <laughs> you, you, you missed it. I, Tony, take you, Isabel. <laughs> to be my wife. To be my wife. My constant friend and partner. My constant friend and partner. And my love. And my love. I want to spend, I want to spend. I want to spend. The rest of my life with you. A million years with you. Close. I will, I vow to love and serve you. I vow to love and serve you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I take you with. I take you with. All your faults and strengths. All your faults and strengths. As I offer myself to you. As I offer myself to you. With all my faults and strengths. With all my faults and strengths. Above all. Above all. I will give you my love freely. I will give you my love freely. And unconditionally. And unconditionally. I pledge this to you. I pledge this to you. From the bottom of my heart. From the bottom of my heart. For all the days of our lives. For all the days of our lives. Now, Isabel. Okay. Looking as deeply as you can into his eyes. Repeat after me. I, Isabel, take you, Tony. I, Isabel, take you, Tony. To be my husband. To be my husband. My constant friend and partner. My constant friend and partner. And my love. And my love. I want to spend. I want to spend. The rest of my life rest, with you. The rest of my life with you. I vow to love and serve you. I vow to love and serve you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I take you with. I take you with. All your faults and strengths. All your faults and strengths. As I offer myself to you. As I offer myself to you. With all my faults and with, strengths. With all my faults and strengths. Above all. Above all. I will give you my love freely. I will give you my love freely. And unconditionally. And unconditionally. I pledge this to you. I pledge this to you. From the bottom of my heart. From the bottom of my heart. For all the days of our lives. For all the days of our lives. Very good. Do you have rings? I do. Good. Somewhere. <laughs> yes. You want it? Yes, please. Okay. You want mine too? Yes, both of them. We've both never been married. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's good. You, <laughs> see, you're getting all this practice. You'll never use it exactly. again. Uh, <laughs> now, Tony, would you take Isabel's ring and place it on the fourth finger of her left hand and repeat after me? I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a daily reminder. As a daily reminder. Of my love for you. Of my love for you. Okay. And Isabel, would you take Tony's ring and put it on the fourth finger of his left hand and repeat after me? 
I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a daily reminder. As a daily reminder. Of my love for you. Of my love for you. Very good. Now, by the power of your love and commitment, and the power invested in me by the glorious Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I now announce you to be. Should be a drum roll. <laughs> husband and wife. Tony. The good part? The good part. Woo! You may kiss your wife. Woo! And it's with pleasure that I introduce for the very first time in human history Tony and Isabel Lloyd. Woo!